Welcome everyone. This beautiful January day. A beautiful day to practice. To practice and be present. Enjoy the moment. Each pose is progressing. Each practice is progressing. Yeah, but my legs aren't straight or my back isn't flat. That is ego. What about your breath? The sensation you feel in your practice. Be here and be now because you are alive. Please close down your eyes. Focus towards your third eye, your center of intuition and guidance. And breathe. Breathing in through both nostrils and out through both nostrils. On your next inhale, please draw your hands together to heart center. Inhale deeply and expand. Exhale completely and let go. Inhale, feel your lungs reach east to west. Exhale, letting go of yesterday. Inhale, sitting a little bit taller and releasing. And inhale, the sound of the universe. Planting the seed of Sankalpa, a vow to yourself, how do you want to feel when you awaken from Shavasana? What can you breathe into your practice on the mat and take with you on your journey off the mat? Releasing your hands down to your knees. Please make any adjustments as necessary. Inhale forward and to the right. Exhale back and to the left. Inhale forward, churning. Exhale back and right. Eyes can be closed down, keeping the energy within. If your equilibrium is off, please find a focal point on the floor.
Slowly on your next inhale, begin to move in the opposite direction. Inhale forward and left. Exhale back and right. Sitting up nice and tall. Drawing the shoulder blades down and your crown to the sky. Notice that you are noticing. Inhale, sweep your right hand up towards the sky. Exhale and gently dip over. Inhale, switching sides. And exhale, dipping over. Follow your breath in and out. In and out. Inhale your right hand up and just gently grab the back of your neck or your hairline. Open the chest and heart and look up. Supported by the earth. Gently release, switching sides, support your neck and then lift and look up. And release, both fingers grounded down. Drop your chin in towards your chest. Lift your chin up towards the sky. Look again to your heart and to the sky. Drawing your chin to neutral, looking to the right and looking to the left. Coming back to center. Move on to our hands and knees for cat-cow. Fingers are spread, wrists in line with the top of the mat. This is your lock, your hand lock. Toes relax. Inhale, soften the belly, press the mat away. Exhale, round spine of the sky. Continue with breath. Soothing and healing breath. Finding your way to table, walking your hands to the right side of your mat. The exhale breath will sink you back and down and in, forehead towards the earth. As you reach to the right, try to drop your left armpit a little bit closer to the earth. Inhale, rolling up, looking up, and then walking over to the opposite side of the world. Your exhale breath takes you back. And as you reach to the left, try to get heavy in the right armpit. Rising up with an inhale and coming back to center of your mat. 
find your center point of your mat and a focal point in front of you that is not moving, extending out through the right leg. Spread the toes, flex the foot, square up the hips. Reach out with the opposite arm, sure to not put any pressure in the wrist. Use the whole hand, elongate the neck. Use the inhales to get longer and the exhales to hold the space. And releasing your hand down, taking your back leg to cross over, press the ball of the foot into the earth and look towards your heel. Coming back to neutral, center point of the mat, extend out, square up and reach not with just the muscles and the bones, but the breath. Releasing only your hand down, back leg crosses over, looking to the heel. Remember the sensation of breath. You are alive. Okay. And coming back to table, sinking the hips back to child's pose, forehead in the direction of the earth. Inhale and peel your chest up off your thighs, roll your heart open. Exhale, reaching back, forward folding over the legs. And then inhale into the knees, lifting the chest and heart up all the way to the sky. Palms come together only if that's comfortable and hands to your heart. Saluting the sun outside and the sun in our hearts, inhale. Exhale, fold over the body, hands back to the heels. Inhale, peel your heart open. Exhale, folding over. And inhale, rise to the sky. Loving kindness at your heart. Again, with breath. A meditation in motion. And inhale up to the sky and hands to your heart. Pausing here for a moment, the simple pleasure of just being present. You want to adjust so that you can bring your right leg out, so any amount of turning. You want to have a stable support of your foot on the floor so it's not going to slide. Gentle baby gait here, hips open to the front of the room. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, any amount of dropping in, lifting out of the side waist, looking up. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, you're going to take your arm all the way over. Leg will extend. Support your hand on your low back and lift that toe any amount. If it feels that you want to reach for the sun today, if it feels good, reach up and look up. Otherwise, looking down for balance. Gently release. Sliding in and reaching out for the opposite side, toe points away, points away, 
hips to the front, inhale, and exhale. Continue to breathe. If you're not breathing, you're not doing yoga. Feel the effort of your foot supporting you like a gatepost. Inhale up and over, leg extends, and you discern how much you are lifting and floating into this pose, seeking balance on a windy day. Good, and release down. Coming back to neutral table, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, surrender into your child's pose. Balance of inhale, balance of exhale. So you're going to be rising into your first down dog. Plant your fingers, tuck your toes, and lift your hips to the sky. And we'll pedal that dog awake, so bending one knee deeply and then the other. Feet are hips distance, back and forth. Notice the sensation. And finding your position of length. Shoulders are broad, side waist is long, heels descending back. Hide your heels behind your toes. Look to your hands and then slowly walk your hands back towards your feet with bent knees to be soft in the low back. Rest your chest towards your thighs and simply dangle. Slowly rolling the spine up vertebra by vertebra, rising up to the simple pleasure of mountain, heart open, hands by your side, legs engaged, breathing in more possibilities. Scooping your right hand underneath your belly button and lifting up with the opposite hand and then exhaling, holding energy and vitality, joy, prosperity, abundance, whatever it is you're seeking today. Switching sides gently. Hold that energy. And coming back, we'll hold that energy up above, soft in the shoulders, wide in the fingers. And release the hands down to your side. Still standing at the back of your mat, sweeping those hands up, holding that ball of energy of joy, vitality, whatever it is, and sinking into the feet and into your imaginary chair. Hold that ball of energy in front of you. Shoulders down the back, any amount. So this is a gentle variation. If you feel you can go deeper, then feel free. Elongating out of the back. Inhale, release the energy. Exhale, folding forward over the body. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release and dangle any amount. Bend the knees and roll up, rise up, reach up. Hands to your heart. Again, half sun salute in and out. Any amount. Flat back and releasing. 
and rising, be in control, into your heart. Remember we come to yoga to get open, we don't arrive open, and folding. Toe in the belly, lift up, and let it go. And then the knees and rise. Enhance your heart. Inhale, and fold. Flat back, then walking the hands forward for down dog. Release your head. Press in, breathe in sensation. Inhale, high plank. Again, the modification is from the knees. So gently lower down, knees can come down first. Lower the chest and heart down. Inhale, gentle cobra, roll the heart open. Engage the legs. Exhale, down dog. Use the breath. Then we're going to drop to our knees and get our right foot forward towards our right thumb. If you need more space, fingertips or fists. Draw that knee over the ankle. Simply dangle the neck and let it go. If you want more hip opening, walk your back knee back. Think about the midline of your mat, hugging the knees, the hips, the glutes into that point. Lots of action, lots of presence. Gently lifting up to the top of the thigh. Hips can sink down any amount, so you can be upright here or dropping in, whatever serves you. If it is available, opening up that heart today. Big expansion, absorbing more light in your chest into your heart so that you can be available for others. Slowly release the hands down. You're going to walk your hips to the back of the room. Lift your front toe. Lift your heart away from your hips and your knee. Spread your toes. Coming forward, lift the back knee, engage for a runner's lunge. Thigh becomes active, elongate out through the spine. If you want to challenge yourself, then you can do a hover over the mat today. Long, deep breath. Be where you can be. Slowly release the hands down and step back, down dog. Notice the difference between the two sides. And an option to flow here. So remain in down dog for five breaths or flow as you choose. Option to have your full chaturangas, your high planks or your baby planks. You choose. Inhale into your variation. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, down dog. Everyone drop into the knees and getting the left foot forward to the left thumb. Wiggle your right knee back if you want more space in the hips. Make space with your hands. Hug into the center line of your mat. Drop the hips down. Hugging in 
and rising up to the top of the thigh. Again, this is optional. Do what you can today. Open your heart. Windy day, stabilize through your roots and your center. Feel heavy and grounded. Good, hands down. Sink the hips to the back of the room, lifting the toe, and elongate out of the leg. Beautiful runner's lunge, coming forward, lifting the back thigh, engaging that muscle, lining up, choosing whether you want to hover over the mat any amount or keeping hands and fists down, you choose. Slowly releasing down, step back, down dog, with another option to flow through your vinyasa, Lots of breath. Looking forward to the front of your mat, and this time stepping or jumping the feet forward to the front of the mat. Exhale, surrender. Inhale and rise up. Reach up. Hands to your heart. Beautiful. We're going to step back into warrior one. Right foot back, 45 degrees. Open up your chest. Drop into the front knee. You can see your big toe. Tailbone gets heavy. Ribs get light. Interlacing your hands behind your low back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up. Soaking up some more light and some more sun. Inhale the hands up, only if that's available to your shoulders. Exhale, warrior two, back leg works its way out. Legs are engaged, reaching out. Heavy in the tailbone, light in the ribs. Mulbanda, root lock, pull your navel slightly in and up. Nice, gentle pressure in the neck, pulling the neck slightly in. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, so a gentle variation. We take the forearm to the top of the thigh. We drop in any amount. If you want to go deeper, you're going to the inside. Sweep that arm down, around, up, and windmill up. Turning your left foot in and your right foot out. Warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Any amount that you choose. Inhale, that arm down and up. So warrior two, turning your back foot slightly in for warrior one, open up. So the thing about warriors is we can see in all directions, so we're aware of our surroundings. It's nice to flip our mats around and our vision around sometimes. behind you, shoulder blades together, take it 
taking the hands up and warrior two releasing the hands to the hips walking the feet in so you're going to be wide on your mat or wide in your placement feet ideally when you're wide your wrists are in line or wider than your ankles so there's an imaginary line hands to the hips folding over taking yourself down any amount you can get a block here a bolster for support or releasing your hands down to the earth feel lifted in the front of your thighs so you need that action to stretch the hamstrings safely Gently pushing yourself up. Again, a bolster or a block underneath you. Fingertips point towards each other. Press the right hand into the mat. Inhale, lift the left arm up, spiraling. Send the hips back, lift the ribs high. Look up only if that's comfortable for your neck. Again, action in the thighs to protect the hamstrings. And release. Opposite side, press the earth away and open. Good, and releasing down. Walk the feet slightly in. Roll it up to stand. Heel toe, those heel toe, those feet back. Heel toe, heel toe. Standing nice and tall in the simple pleasure of mountain. So again, turning. So you're at the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Feel the warmth in the body. Inhale, flat back. Step or jump back, down dog. Inhale, option to flow here. And we're going to rest for a moment in child's pose. Action of surrender and acceptance. And sliding forward like a snake in the potential of health. So you can remain in a gentle sphinx pose with your elbows underneath your shoulders, shoulders rolled open, power of the legs working. If it is available to you to move on, you're going to bend your right leg, bring your left arm forward for support and reaching back for that foot pant leg maybe a strap is an option here and drawing that foot in so if you feel tender in the back you're going to keep your forehead on your hand or you can lift your chest and heart up press the pubic bone down and the tailbone away to get more action in the front of that thigh And slowly release. So again, gently, your forehead is on your hand, reaching back, pant leg, sock, strap, pubic bone down, tailbone away. And gently release. So another moment in child's pose. Hands can be towards the ankles or outstretched. You choose.
rising up, down dog. Stretching your spine, it's the longest it's gonna be until you do this pose again. With an option to flow through your vinyasa, linking the breath to every movement, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This time when we move forward, we want to get our hands on the inside of our feet, or our feet outside, so you could step and walk forward, or you could go for a jump, whatever works. So gentle variation, you're gonna be here. Remember, everyone's hips are different. Toes turn out, sometimes they're parallel, make it work with the comfort and integrity of your hips. If it's available, coming down. Drawing the palms together, have some buoyancy there. It's actually harder to be upright and pressing the knees away. Notice the effort of your feet, how they may or may not rest on the earth. If you do have an advanced practice, you could go into a crow pose right now. So we're gonna rocket ship this energy up to the sky, engage your legs, buoyancy, lift up. And hands to your heart. Walk those feet in for the simple pleasure of standing and mounting. And now you're gonna make friends with a space in the room that is not moving. Feel free to use a wall or a chair or a prop. Focus your eyes and your will and your determination will follow. Shifting into your right leg for a gentle tree. You're here. If your practice allows and you want to come up, feel free. Taking the arms out any amount, breathing them up. You are alive. Shoulders down the back. Remember the force is in the standing leg, not in the foot pressing into the leg. And we have a visitor. Notice the sensation you are feeling as you systematically realign your spine, slowly moving out of the position and releasing down. Feel free to do a jig, a little massage. Focusing your eyes again, preparing for the other side. Gentle, wherever you're Practice takes you today. It's progressing. Be present. Enjoy the moment. You are alive. You feel the strength of your legs, engaging your glutes, opening your ribs. And slowly floating your hands down. And releasing down. Excellent, so we're gonna come onto the mat. So if you have the type of spine that's had enough forward folding, then you would want to remain upright in your staff pose, lifted and open, engaging the legs and creating length and space. 
if your practice allows for more forward folding to calm and soothe, then we reach forward any amount. We soften wherever we can go. We progress. So folding over the legs or sitting upright, calming and cooling sensation into the body. Feet are flexed, toes are spread. Good, so from whatever position you're at, you're gonna lift up, take the hands behind you, fingers pointing towards the toes, roll the chest and heart open, lift the hips up towards the sky. If it's available, toes are gonna to point right down to the earth. Breathe in here and breathe out here. Long neck, open heart. When you ease yourself down, it is gently and slowly and in control. Good, inhale, lift up. And folding forward any amount or remaining upright. Inhale, lift up, hands down, slide your knees in, grabbing the backs of your legs. So building strength, even if we're just flexing the muscle and activating that energy, we are progressing and we are healing. So lengthening up and engaging center, and even if it's just a toe lifting and we're feeling that action of energy to start the healing process, then it has begun. If your practice allows for both toes to lift and shift, feel free to expand into any variation of your boat that your body allows. Legs can even extend out straight, be in control, be kind, lift up, smile. Slowly lower the toes down, Take the knees wide. And here we get to be round and stretch out our kidneys and draw our nose towards our toes. Rolling up. Knees together. You want to be in the middle of your mat if you're supporting yourself with the mat today. And you're going to lower yourself with strength and integrity all the way down. So in control, take your time. Feel the effort of the spine, navel to the spine. Find your sacrum, maybe hold there for some strengthening. Keeping strong, moving slowly down, releasing. Walking your heels in, hands by your side. Walk those heels as close as is comfortable for you, hips distance apart. Lift the hips up towards the sky. Inward the spiral the thighs. Long neck. Look nowhere but up. So a variation here, if you choose, would be to lift one leg at a time, lifting it up towards the sky. Otherwise, remain in this bridge. You can lower that leg down and lift the other leg up towards the sky if that serves. Lowering down. Slowly lowering the whole spine down to the mat. Walk your heels the width of your mat and draw your knees together. Walk your feet back into neutral, placing your right foot on top of your left thigh, flexed foot. Inhale, head, neck, and shoulders up. You grab the back of the leg over top of the knee if it's available. Releasing down. Bring those legs with you.
Slowly release the leg down. Preparing for the opposite side. Flexed foot, reach up. Head, neck, and shoulders lift off. Coming down, bring the legs with you. Life is constant contraction and expansion, just like the breath. And slowly releasing down. So we're gonna take both legs up towards the sky. Lifting those toes up. You can fold the backs of your legs if you need that support or hands can be by your side. Sometimes we tremble and shake here, a sign of life. Feel free at this point, if it's part of your practice, to safely come into a shoulder stand. Supporting your hands on your low back and taking your toes up higher to the sky. To release from your shoulder stand, slowly draw the knees towards the ears. Slowly roll your tailbone back to the earth, where we will all find happy babies. So holding the knees, the shins, the ankles, or the outside edges of the feet. Press your sacrum down, your tailbone down. Create leverage and resistance. And maybe wiggle and giggle a little bit to heal your heart. Drawing the soles of your feet together and down towards the earth. You can prop up your outer thighs or simply release. Slowly begin to extend your legs out. Feet are going to fall naturally open. Hands by your side. Eyes closed down. Some of us wait our whole life for the opportunity to live. But today, we have seized it. Close down your eyes. Let go of what was and trust in what will be. On your own command, completely and deeply, relax.
moving out of relaxation as slowly as you moved in. Bringing your awareness back to your physical body by wiggling your toes, your fingers, and your cheeks around your nose. Shift your hips gently side to side and roll your neck gently side to side. Stretch your new body in any direction that feels soothing to you. And then hug your knees in for a squeeze and a gentle twist your arms out, drop your knees to one side, look away if you can, if it's comfortable. Inhale up to center and try the other side. A little cat stretch. Inhale up to center, hug your knees. You can rock and roll the length of your mat here to rock up or roll to your right side and gently push yourself up to seated for a short meditation. Feel free to grab a bolster or a block or whatever serves you. Feel free to use the wall or a chair. Sitting nice and tall, invoking the mudra of wisdom. Shoulders down your back, integrity in the breath and the spine. Close down your eyes and look inside. Dalai Lama said, there are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday, and the other is called tomorrow. So today is the right day of love, to believe, to do, and mostly live.
Please draw your hands together, heart center, to seal your practice. You are progressing. You are alive. Rub the hands together. Rub, 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 rub. Keep vitality, energy, aliveness. Release your hands to the sky for victory. And all that you've accomplished today, all that you've seized. And releasing our hands down to the earth. Rolling up only when you are ready. I hope you take out of the world as much beauty. I hope you see that beauty as much beauty as you put in.